Hey class, I'm coming to you from my home office here in sunny, well not sunny, Albany, Ohio. I thought I'd make a quick video to explain some of the changes that are going on with class right now. I'll also list these as bullet points in uh, an announcement that I'm going to put on the site. But first off, I just want to encourage you to keep working on what we've already started. So first, if you have anything done for your VR profile project, Try and work together as a team and complete as much as you can about that. However, I understand that's going to be really difficult right now, so check on Blackboard. I've created a new assignment where I want you to complete as much as you can with that, but also I'm giving you a chance to explain to me what you were able to complete and what you would have liked to have completed if we didn't end up in this challenge. That's on Blackboard now under the Assignments and in the Team Project folder. As far as the events are concerned. Obviously we've canceled all the events, but I wanted something to replace that. And I know too that you're working on the individual story for the, the class. So I've kind of combined that. Um, I still want you to do your individual story, but now that individual story can be based where you are right now. Try to connect it to the site, to our mission of community building and um, place-based sto storytelling. But I understand, again, that you can't do the original story that you had planned, so do as much as you can with that. In addition, I'm asking each student in the class to tell a non-linear story about the place where they are right now. Um, I've also posted all the information on that. I hope that'll be fun. I hope that will be, you can just be really creative with that. Uh, I'm asking each student to use ThingLink and to make a non-linear story through that. You have to have at least five images. Um, that can be, hopefully you can get outside and tell a story, but if you're forced to stay in place, um, you can just tell it about your home and the people that you're working there. Try to connect that, though, to an overall story. Don't make this just a travel log or a personal diary. And again, there's more details on the site. As far as the development blog goes, um, keep working on those. These are kind of personal reflections anyway, so I encourage you for your development blog to maybe find um, other virtual reality related stories, other community based stories, um, even just to kind of talk about what this experience has meant for the team and how we're trying to pull it together remotely. That also goes for your site work team, so the editing, social media, and design teams. Hopefully you can complete a lot of that online um, and remotely. Um, I'm going to be emailing each team um, each week just like I would have in class to say, here's some things that I noticed, here's some things you guys did really well, here's some other things that I'd like you guys to work on, um, just to let you know with that. I, I don't think that's going to be a ton of work, um, just because I'm, a, you know, as it was like in class, but I'll keep in touch with you, and I hope that you can keep doing those things. Finally, um, your presentations. Um, if you were scheduled to give a presentation in class, I'd still like you to do that, but obviously you can't give it in class. So just submit a PowerPoint or a link to a Google slide um, on Blackboard on the site or the person or the individual that you would have covered, and then answer the questions um, that I've posted on Blackboard to kind of guide your presentation through your PowerPoint. I hope this helps. I hope you this video hasn't been too boring for you. I've tried to keep it short and sweet. Um, again, you can see the bullet points on the announcement, but I wanted to connect with you in some way too. I, you know, we're all in this together. Um, hopefully we'll get something out of this. Hopefully we'll learn something new um, and we'll have a story that we can tell our grandkids one day, right? All right, have a good week and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks.